Hey, hello. Welcome to another one of my videos about error coins. And this time we're looking at something really quite special. So this, as you can tell from the label on the capsule, is a 2010 two pound coin. And it's got a few errors on it. It's been broad struck, it's been multi struck, and it's got some genuine Royal Mint environmental damage on that one. Um, so what has happened here? Um, I mean, first of all, I've got to say, this is a really special kind of error. Um, essentially, the coin has been struck more than once and it's been struck without a collar, which has caused it to go super big. Um, it's in a pretty poor state though. Um, the base of the coin has some kind of weird straggly metal hanging off of it as well. Um, but the most obvious thing about this is that the silver inner part is much bigger than it's meant to be. It goes beyond the dotted boundary all around it. Um, it, it is, of course, quite common for normal £2 coins to have it going off slightly beyond that, but only on one edge. This goes round it all the way. So the silver-coloured inner piece actually covers half of the lettering around the coin. Um, and in general, the whole coin is much larger. And that's because when this was struck, it was struck without there being a retaining collar in place, which is also why you can see there's no um, milled edging on it. You can see the edge inscription because the edge inscription is actually applied before these coins are struck. Um, and it's when the coin is struck that it gets the lines on the edges. Um, so usually when that happens, well, it's called a broad strike and it usually results in a coin that's slightly bigger than it should be in terms of diameter um, because there's nothing to basically keep all the metal in place when the die is pressed down on it. Um, but this one's actually been struck more than once and you can tell that because there's actually traces of outer dots here far beyond the ones that you can actually see there. Um, so that's actually resulted in the coin being even wider than it should be. And when you measure it, it's actually a couple of millimetres bigger. Um, here's a normal £2 coin. Um, don't know how clear that would be, but you can sort of see there's a definite, <laughs> definite size difference there. Um, so that is a really, really cool error. And what I suspect has happened is the coin was initially struck without the collar in place, and for whatever reason, the coin failed to eject from the machine and then it was immediately struck again in exactly the same place. Um, some of the more interesting multi-struck errors occur when the coin is struck slightly offset. So you see actually multiple copies of the design. But this one's really interesting in its own right just because it's everything's just splaying outwards from the centre. Um, and the lack of milled edge is also really quite fascinating. Um, you can see the standing on the shoulders of giants edge inscription apart from that bit there. Um, and it's in a really, really poor state because what I suspect has happened is the coin has eventually been freed from the machine, but kind of <laughs> fallen down the back or whatever and got lost for a while perhaps. Um, and then eventually it's been found at some point. But you really do have to wonder how this coin has come to... Um, end up in public hands eventually uh, because if it were going through the um, counting machines you would expect that a coin that's got a much larger diameter than it's meant to be would uh, cause some kind of blockage or something but then perhaps that's what ended up causing this uh, damage on the bottom who knows uh, but yeah that's a really really cool kind of error you're very very unlikely to find one of these in your change simply because all of the automated machines out there will not process this. Um, the other interesting thing, of course, is because this has been broad struck and it's splayed out a bit of the edges, the coin itself is actually going to be, or at least the central part of it, will be slightly thinner than a real £2 coin would be. Um, now, is this still legal tender? I suppose it could be. It's got a monarch's head on it and you can read the denomination, so... Uh, yeah, but I think you'd be foolish to spend this. It's much more valuable as an error coin. Um, 
So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you found this video interesting um, and informative. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe uh, if you haven't already, of course. And I'd love to see what you thought about this in the comments section. Have you got any weirdly multi-struck errors like this? I mean, they're pretty, pretty rare, I imagine. Um, but yeah, don't forget to check out my other error coin videos if this sort of thing floats your boat. Uh, but for now, bye, and I'll see you next time.